Hello again everybody. In this video we're going to look at Israel moment number 37. What is the Talmud? Uh, and these, uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them, these Talmud videos, because it's really irrelevant. It kind of goes outside the scriptures to try to prove something. And if you're going to, if you want to prove, um, you know, a, a belief that you have about Christianity, about the Lord, um, you need to use the scriptures. So, I'm basically addressing the videos just to keep the series in line so there's nothing missing. But we're not going to spend a lot of time on these. Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Anderson from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. Today I want to talk about Mark chapter 7, verses 3 through 9. And I want to explain to you about a book called the Talmud, that is the holy book of the Jews. A lot of people think the Jews believe in the Old Testament. Really, their religion is not based on the Old Testament. There are so many things in the Old Testament that contradict what they believe. They actually follow a different book called the Talmud. Now, these false teachings that go against Old Testament scripture were already in existence at the time of Christ. And in Matthew, and I'm sorry, Mark 7, we find Jesus rebuking these oral traditions that would later be written down around 500 years later in the Talmud. But they already were being taught uh, as early as around 200 B.C. Listen to what it says in Mark 7, 3. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands off, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups, and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. These are all things that are later going to be written down in the Talmud. And they're already being observed by all the Jews at this time. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. And this is exactly what Judaism is today. It's a religion that rejects the commandment of God, rejects the Old Testament scripture, claims to believe in it, draws nigh unto the Lord with their lips, but their heart is far from him. Sure, they claim to believe the Old Testament, but it's just like it was in Jesus' day. The Pharisees... Uh, who wrote the Talmud, and the Pharisees today who call themselves Orthodox Jews, they don't really believe in it. They have their own tradition, and to them that trumps the Word of God. That's what the Talmud is. All the Talmud is is a written-down version of what Jesus was speaking against here in Mark chapter 7. These oral traditions of the elders that were passed down, later they'd be written down in the Talmud, in the Mishnah, but... Uh, it's the same garbage that Jesus was rebuking that makes void the commandment of God. <coughs> okay. Uh, been over this before. It's not really relevant to their uh, election, to Israel's election as being um, chosen. Um, uh, it deals with it relates to individual salvation for today for a Jew that that's a uh, blasph blasphemous uh, book and religion that they follow but it doesn't have anything to do with making them uh, not his chosen people as far as Bible prophecies uh, go okay there's still prophecies in the Bible been over many of them in the series Psalm 105 verses 6 to 11 is a good one he still has uh, promises to um, the Jews, uh, because of uh, what he um, promises he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give them that land as an everlasting covenant, and he still has to make good on that promise to them. Um, so he's going to make a new covenant with them when the Lord Jesus Christ returns, and they're going to get that land as an inheritance. Again, we're talking about ethnic Jews. It has nothing to do with uh, them being saved today, not giving them pass it's not uh, people have this wrong idea that we we think that you know people who refer to the Jews as God's 
still God's chosen people, they think that we mean that they, like, because they're, they're born Jewish, that they're automatically saved. And that has nothing to do with it. It's not talking, we're not talking about that at all. What we're talking about is God still has a plan for Israel as a people later after he's done with uh, the, the body of Christ and how he's dealing with people today on an individual salvation to receive Jesus as their Savior and they get the Holy Spirit and become part of the body of Christ spiritually. So, again, it's uh, not really a, a relevant video to proving anything against them uh, out of the Bible. And he's going to do a couple more of these yet and we'll just kind of run them make a uh, make a log in the book so to speak uh, as having looked at the video and just uh, move on so that's all for this one guys have a good night